Hello friends, welcome back to Online on Law. This is a medical video lecture, microbiology, microbiology. Okay guys, and this is for USMLE step one examination. And today's topic of discussion is, I'm going to talk very briefly and very important points for USMLE step one, selective T cell deficiency okay guys so before starting a discussion on this I will request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's start a discussion on this selective t-cell deficiency whenever you hear of selective t-cell deficiency the two diseases that should strike your mind tell me which are the two diseases one is D George D George syndrome okay the other one is MHC MHC class one deficiency okay guys so selective t-cell deficiency uh, the two diseases you should remember is the DeGeorge syndrome and MSC class 1 deficiency yes for USMLE okay so what's the DeGeorge syndrome very simple you know most of the points about this is the DeGeorge syndrome is nothing but the failure or formation of what second or third or third or fourth or fourth or fifth pharyngeal pouch tell me it's yes third third and fourth remember pharyngeal pouch very important pharyngeal pouch okay then what are the defects what tell me just for a revision what type of chromosomes and what number of chromosome is involved what's that number yes it's a die remember die is two that's why I remember 22 okay 22 chromosome number 22 right 22 q 11 11 yeah sorry 1 1 okay so what are the clinical manifestations you know very well about the clinical manifestations about this there is some mnemonic in that i think catch or something like that right um so you should remember about this what is the c stands for c stands for what you call uh, cardiac uh, and abnormalities in the form of like um, tetralogy of fallet right so a stands for abnormal faces so try to look in the usml try to look for the history in which if they mention any history of what you call a um, cardiac involvement or facial involvement then think that might be they are asking about the t-cell deficiency or a discharge syndrome okay but there are other features too okay not only this one um, and then we have what you call t for a thymic aplasia very important thymic aplasia okay then we have a cleft palate cleft palate remember cleft palate it's a palate cleft palate remember very important and the H stands for hypokalemia or hypoparathyroidism so low calcium either in the form of hypokalemia or hypoparathyroidism you can remember right so these are the important what you call um, uh, important mnemonic for a Dijon syndrome so Dijon syndrome the third and the fourth pharyngeal pouch is involved and uh, uh, Clinical features are involved in the form of cash. There's a cardiac involvement. Um, then we have abnormal faces, thymic uh, aplasia. Then we have cleft palate and hypothalamus and hypoparathyroidism. Okay, okay, guys. So let's talk about what happens in this. I'm not going to talk in detail because this is for USMLE, right? So the depression of the T cell numbers and the absence of T cell response. Remember, so thymic is gone, so T cells are gone. Just remember like that. Okay, guys. So selective T deficiency. We have two diseases. One is a Dijon syndrome, and other is a MSC class one deficiency. Let's talk about the MSC class one deficiency or I. In the MHC class 1 deficiency for USMLE, just remember that there is a failure of TAP1 molecules to transport peptides to endoplasmic reticulum. So what's a TAP? What's a TAP? TAP is nothing but a transporter associated transporter transporter associated with antigen processing
with antigen processing okay so failure of this tap one molecule to transport peptides to endoplasmic reticulum so this results in a selective t-cell deficiency the important thing for your assembly what you have to remember in msa class 1 deficiency is remember the cd4 cells cd4 plus t cells are normal in number remember this is really very important whereas cd8 plus t cells are low or deficient okay cd8 is low cd4 are normal okay so how do they present with if in usmle if they give the recurrent history of viral infections okay recurrent history of viral infections and they're asking you which type of what you call cell deficiency could be expected in this then think of as a selected two cell deficiency and if they mention definitely they have to mention cd4 or cd8 cell um, as a laboratory finding to make it easy for you okay guys so what's the other feature of this msc class one or i deficiency is um, they have normal dth that is a delayed type of hypersensitivity okay and normal ant antibody productions so there are two three normal things that you should remember one is normal t4 cd4 t cells sorry okay normal cd4 t cells and normal dth okay delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction and normal antibody production okay so these are the important points you should remember so guys let me summarize selectivity is t cell deficiency we have two diseases Dijon syndrome and MSC class 1 deficiency. Dijon syndrome, how would you differentiate? Dijon syndrome, we look for the clinical features in the form of cardiac involvement, facial involvement, thymic aplasia, cleft palate, then we have what you call hypokalasemia or hypoparathyroidism, right? The chromosome involved over here is a 22, right? Uh, and uh, local and uh, total loss of what you call T cells. In MSC class 1 deficiency, if in USMLE, if they give what you call history of um, recurrent viral infection with uh, normal CD4 T cells or low CD8 T cells, then think of MSC class 1 deficiency. And what's the defect in the MSC class 1 deficiency? There's a failure of TAP1 molecule that is transport transporter associated with antigen processing to transport peptides to endoplasmic reticulum. So there's a kind of somewhat a disturbance in the transport remember like that that's it okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care